the grass withers and the flowers fade but the word of our god endures forever heaven and earth will pass away but god's word will not pass away a reading from the holy gospel according to saint john in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god he was in the beginning with god all things came into being through him and without him not one thing came into being what has come into being in him was life and the life was the light of all people the light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it the true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world he was in the world and the world came into being through him yet the world did not know him he came to what was his own and his own people did not accept him but to all who received him who believed in his name he gave power to become children of god who are born not of the blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man but of god and the word became flesh and lived among us and we have seen his glory the glory as of a father's only son full of grace and truth dear sisters and brothers after four weeks of advent in preparation for the coming of jesus we are at last at christmas celebrating the birth of jesus the king of kings and lord of lords today's first reading taken from the book of prophet isaiah chapter 52 verses 7 to 10 reminds us about the one who brings or proclaims about the good times when all will be good and fine ultimately prophesizing about the expected messiah the coming savior who will make all things right This prophecy of prophet Isaiah resonates well with the gospel of John which we just read where John very figuratively and transphysically reminds us about the word which was eternally with God and in time God's own time incarnates takes flesh and is born of the blessed virgin mary in the stable of bethlehem god through his son jesus became emmanuel meaning god with us sisters and brothers god loved us so much that he created us man in his own image and likeness but we know how we responded to this god's love for us we rebelled sin and still continues to sin therefore the author of the letter to the hebrews in today's second reading reminds us that god did not give up on us after having spoken an appeal to us men through the different prophets god ultimately sent his own son jesus whose commemoration we make today christmas day in other words god became man so that man can become god sisters and brothers this is our calling the calling 
of every man, woman and child to be God-like. Today, after 2000 plus years of this historic event, God still continues to call us. And even today, in fact, even now too, God is calling us to himself, to transformation, to metanoia, to change of heart and attitude. Sisters and brothers, if we do not give heed, if we want to continue to remain obstinate, to be arrogant and unwilling to change for the better, to the values of the gospel and for God's ways, then we are not celebrating Christmas in its fullness and in its right sense. Like everybody and anybody who celebrates Christmas only as a social, religious or worldly event, for us Christians too, Christmas will be another festival which will come and go. But rather, if Christmas for us is a God-given time for God's intervention in our lives, then we have to surrender ourselves at the feet of the babe of Bethlehem, Christ our Lord, the promised Messiah, your Savior and mine. Come, let us worship him. Let the word of God dwell in you. Join us every Friday to store up God's word in your heart.